Right now, many of you may be wondering how you can have families impacted by the Caldor fire and one youth organization is collecting donations this morning and spade with our my 58th street team is in Placerville to show us how you can make a difference and good morning. Good morning, Leticia. Yeah, I am going to make this really quick. I am with Hands for Hope Youth. Say, the, say it again. Hands for Hope Youth Making a Difference. There you go. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and let them talk. Um, we've got Simone over here who's going to tell you about Hands for Hope. Simone? Hands for Hope Youth Making a Difference is a youth-led organization that focuses on inspiring and empowering youth through service. Um, we explore, act, and lead through community service projects, and Hands for Hope gives all of us the opportunity to find our passion, our voice, and our confidence. Awesome. And then um, you're, who's going to talk about distribution? Yeah, so we've held several distributions here at our Placerville Youth Center um, for the Caldor Fire victims. Um, we've given out non-perishables from our food pantry and then also um, fresh produce and sandwiches. Is. We'd like to give some uh, extra big thanks to Placerville Pizza Factory, Mom and Pop Chicken Shop, 24 Carat Farm, Boa Vista, and the Placerville Garden Club for their donations. We've also been going out to the overflow evacuation sites, so places like um, just parking lots that people are staying at and making sure that they have all the resources that um, they need. And uh, just a little bit of information here. Jace is actually, he, he and his family have been evacuated as well. So we appreciate your time and your efforts here to help your fellow uh, community. So um, Tarika is going to talk a little bit about. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be talking about who Hands for Hope has been working with. So Hands for Hope has been working with the El Dorado Community Foundation to help support evacuees by providing everything from hotel rooms to food, toiletries, and other supplies. We're also working with evacuation sites and helping um, provide them with mattresses, cots, and pillows. So a big thank you to the Descor family and a special family in um, El Dorado Hills, or Descor Builders, and uh, for providing a bunch of mattresses and cots. Yeah. And then Raquel, you're, you're talking about what's going on today. Uh, well, we are actually going to be making banners here in like a week to show our appreciation for those who are tirelessly working to battle the Caldor fire. And we will be hanging the banners up on the Highway 50 overpass. That's awesome. And then if you look over here, Mike, into this room, you can see Jacob is working on one of those banners as we speak. And if you want to uh, volunteer to help, they're still taking volunteers for this youth organization. Also, uh, businesses out there, if there are businesses who would like to help, they are looking to partner with some businesses so they can either offer supplies or significant discounts to help the financial burden of the, uh, uh, the Caldor Fire victims. So this is Anne Spade with Team My58 for KCRA3 News and the Hands for Hope Youth Organization.